Within NEOM, we're standing in one of the biggest earthworks operations globally at the moment. We're talking about 15 million cubic meters of excavated material going into fill everything remaining in the area of Trigena. Cement production accounts to about 8% of CO2 emissions. So this is the main focus for us, how to try to decarbonize our construction. My name is Peter Nichols. I'm the Senior Construction Manager for Trigena, involved with sustainable concrete in the lake. My name is Asim Ibrahim, the Senior Project Manager at Trigena, looking after environment and sustainability. Well, I've been doing construction for about 40 years, and this is one of the most exciting and challenging projects I've ever worked in. A unique project. Every day you have a new challenge, you have a new achievement to do. This keeps you motivated and want to do the best. The total concrete demand within Trigena is approximately 7.3 million cubic meters. 53% for buildings and structures and 47% for dams. In alignment with the Kingdom Vision 2030, we have adopted the Sustainability Concrete Initiative that is focusing on using 100% of our aggregates from local sources. The material that are produced locally by our construction will be used in the production of concrete. So the vault is up to my left hand side at the top of the hill. The rock in its in situ capacity is either excavated out with an excavator or in most cases because it's rock it gets blasted and gets loaded up there and they go into the area behind me. That's the primary crushing area. Once it's crushed it will be brought into the lake to the secondary crusher which will be over to my right hand side here. That will then be crushed into smaller particles ideally made for concrete which will then go to the washing plant. It gets washed to remove all the dust. It then goes to the batching plant where you get your cement and your fly ash added and your water. Once that is concrete is batched, it then goes down to the wall, which is about two kilometers away. So this is the dam wall. This is what holds back 55 billion liters of water in the lake. There is about three million cubic meters of concrete. And this will be layered like a 3D printer with a continuous movement of a hopper dispatching the concrete from the south side to the north side and it will go 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year for 26 months. From an estimation of the emissions that will be generated and the transport that will be reduced, we estimate 0.4 million tons of CO2 that will be saved. And in simpler terms, that represents about saving 1 million trees.